I know this looks like a monstrosity, that's because it is. We have total gimbal protection. It's not pretty, but it's very effective. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and this is a gimbal protector cover for my radio and I made this using Instamorph and it's a great alternative to 3D printing if you're not into 3D printing yet um, but you want to make custom parts Instamorph is pretty fantastic and I, I know some people have had some questions about how I made this and how they could make one so in this video I'm going to show you how you can make one for yourself um, because I actually I need to make another one for the i6 and just in case you're wondering, the i6X cover will fit the i6 just fine. Look at this, which still has this little plastic peel thing over the screen. Should we take it off? I think we should. Oh, look at that. We're gonna need a few main things for this project. First, of course, we're gonna need a surface on which to work. I'm using parchment paper, which works quite well because it keeps things from sticking and it's clean and nice and I like that. We're gonna need some Instamorph. You can get this uh, from like any probably craft store place. I got mine from Amazon, link in the description. We might need a rolling pin, so something on which to roll and flatten things out. And we're gonna need like a, just like a glass bowl or in this case, like a Pyrex. Uh, pouring bowl kind of thing and then some tongs because we're gonna be working with hot water and hot instamorph and you're gonna need some hot water so in this case I just have one of these little electric heater carafe things and it works quite well and we're also going to need a hair dryer just basically something to blow hot air to sort of melt the instamorph and we might need an exacto knife or scissors and some various other little tools that you probably have on hand first step is we're going to get our glass container and we need to heat up the hot water so let's do that right now now we're going to put in some instamorph and you see actually i have larger pieces here let's get that out of there that's a dirty piece but th these other pieces were projects that didn't turn out and so you can just melt them down and reuse them and I don't know how much we're gonna need so I'm just gonna put in like all the rest of what I have but uh, I've made a bunch of stuff just using this one bag it's like six ounces all right so the cool thing about instamorph in case you don't know what this is it comes in these little plastic pellets because this is a thermoplastic and so when you add hot water they melt all together and turn into one chunk basically cool Okay, once we have our Instamorph in there, which looks actually a lot like rice, we're gonna get our boiling hot water. So I want to stress, be very careful because this is boiling hot and the steam is probably gonna fog up the camera lens. We're gonna pour some hot water in here to melt our Instamorph. Okay, so just, just enough to cover it. And you can see very quickly it's uh, turning clear. That's what it does, that's how you know it's hot. That's pretty neat and it's becoming mushy and it's all melting together. You see, now I can take out this whole thing, but uh, we wanna make sure it gets all nice and melted and so it'll just turn clear and then we'll come back and take it out and mush it around. Let's see, that one's getting pretty melted. Most of this is melted except for that one big chunk right there. This is gonna be really hot or it could be really hot so be careful when you're when you're picking it up. You kind of want to shake off the hot water, and this could still be quite warm. We want it warm, but you know we don't want it to burn you. So we only really need probably like half of this. Ooh, yeah, it's getting hot because there's little pockets of hot water that get stuck in there. Look at that though; it's really cool, really cool material. So because uh, now it's basically just this big old chunk of plastic. It almost feels like beeswax. Ow, ow, ow! It's kind of kind of hot. I don't want to deal with this big chunk, so we'll just set this aside, and this will just harden, and we can use this in another project later. Okay, so you can see it's uh, nice and moldable, it's nice and pliable, um, but we, it's been out of the water for a little bit, so it's going to be, uh, it's kind of starting to harden just a little bit. Um, but what we kind of want to do is sort of stretch it out, and we're going to, we're going to, but you don't want, you don't want holes, you don't want it to be so thin that there are holes but we'll put it back in this hot water and let it uh, heat back up and then and then we'll take it out and we will uh, mold it again. A little bit more hot water just to keep the temperature up. It 
starting to turn white, which means it's becoming uh, cold and not pliable anymore. So we need to put it back in some hot water. Again, I guess if I had really thought this through, I would just get like a big flat thing of water. That would make a lot more sense. You should do that. You should get a big flat thing of water. Oh no, oh no. All right, this is not turning out super great. Mm. You know what, let's just redo it. We're gonna redo it. We're gonna, we're gonna smush everything back together. Um, because we, we want to kind of just start from scratch because things just didn't turn out super well. So I'm just going to start from scratch again, heat this whole thing back up, and then smush it back out. Actually, you know what? Oh my gosh, if you had one of those little clay rolling things, that would be the thing. But I'm assuming you don't have one of those. So we're just gonna we're just gonna do this by hand, old school. All right, so here we go, and we're almost there. We're there actually. We're there. This is good enough. Okay, that's what they call good enough for government work in the biz. Now this is good because we just what we want to do is we want to just cover the switches, and we want to lock in place the gimbals. Now for this one, I'm gonna have the throttle stick all the way down um, for the. For the other one, I, I decided to have it in the up or the middle position, but it's kind of it's kind of a pain because it doesn't auto center, so I had to always put it in the auto in, in the center position. So for this one, I'm just going to leave the throttle down, and alternately, if you ha if you wanted to use more Instamorph, you could make a cover for the whole thing to protect the screen and and the switches and all and the buttons here and then all that stuff. So that might be a good idea too. This is so thick on on some of these edges that I'm actually I'm going to heat these back up and try and kind of squish those out of there. Kind of try and thin it out. Now let's just go ahead and get this whole thing a little bit more pliable. And then we'll and then we'll lay it on top of the transmitter, and then we should be getting our final fit, or kind of our final shape, I guess. And we can kind of just press this a little bit and just just hold it over top of the transmitter like this. And it's not really gonna look very good. In fact, it looks pretty bad. But this is where the blow dryer comes in. What we're gonna do now is take our blow dryer and put it to like the high setting, if you have it. Um, and it basically is hot, kind of as hot as you can. You, I wouldn't use a heat gun because this doesn't actually need to be that hot in order to melt. And then you also, you don't want your electronics and your radio plastic getting too hot. So keep that in mind. You, you wanna put the heat on the actual Instamorph and just enough heat to melt it the way we, we want it. So it might take a little while, but it's better to do it this way instead of just totally melting your radio. Wow. Okay, so that took a few minutes, and in some spots it looks like it did get a little too hot, or it was just, it was too thin. Um, and actually it's, yeah, it's melting pretty darn good. So you see how it's just laying down? Um, that's what we want. Now we don't want it to surround everything, otherwise we won't be able to take the cover off. But we do want it to get over the top of everything. So like these switches, these switches are in there pretty good. We can kind of pinch around the switches so that we know that it kind of gets on the switch and sort of covers it, keeps it in that position. Uh, same with the uh, gimbal right here. Now here we actually have a little hole. So what I'll do is I'll, if I can, I'll just like take this, take the material and pinch it around the gimbal. And it's actually kind of, it's actually sort of melted into the gimbal. So I think that'll be okay. But uh, what we'll do is we'll just, we will let it cool before we pull it off of here and it should be okay. So um, yeah, you could probably do this a little bit better, but just for this demonstration, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it like this. One big thing right here is we want to pinch around the lanyard loop because this is how we're going to get it to really snap shut and really lock in place. So we want that to be 
um, nice and tight fitting and kind of get a little bit of material in each side of the lanyard hole. In any case, you'll get the idea and I'm sure yours will turn out better. And let's let that cool. I'll go ahead and get the blow dryer and uh, turn it to the cool setting and help it along. Now that it's cool, let's see how well it formed onto here. We might have to make a few adjustments. Okay, so this spot right here is actually on a little bit too tight. Like I can't even, well, hang on. Yeah, I can't even really pop it off. So we could uh, get out the blow dryer again and just heat up this one spot. Or little trick is you can actually heat this up with a lighter, but I will say be careful when you do this and don't play with fire and you could catch things on fire. So probably don't do this, but I'm gonna do it just to show you. And yeah, so we can just take the flame and just heat up just the part that we need. Just the part that we need heated up, just a little bit, not too crazy. Once again, it's gonna get clear as it heats up, which is good. There we go, okay. And let's see if we can move it now. Yes, a little bit, my goodness, this is really on there. I mean, it's on there, good. All right, we gotta heat this up a little bit more. Man, this thing out of gas. All right, so let's just heat this up very, very carefully. Not, not, we don't want to hold the flame on there too much. Wow, wow. Dang. Okay, so you can see here, check that out. You see that? So it's actually going in there way too much. So what we can do, we'll just take some scissors or some, uh, some side cutters here and we'll actually just snip off that portion Instead of trying to like mold it into something else, we'll just cut it right on out of there. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Like that's that's pretty good for the for the level of quality that we're talking about with, with this overall. I think that's I think that's decent. So once you're happy with your fit, I know this looks like a monstrosity. That's because it is. Uh, but once you're happy with how it fits and how it looks in the the forming of all this stuff, you can take something like a sharpie. Uh, or maybe a pencil or something. I'm just gonna use a Sharpie because it shows up really well. And now we can actually trim the excess material. So we can just kinda, I don't know, we'll just kinda eyeball it like around here. We'll trim. So let's give that a try. We should be able to do this with just scissors or you can also use like a razor blade for some spots. And let's just go ahead and cut through this material. I really love these heavy duty sewing scissors. These are like my favorite scissors. So you're gonna need something pretty heavy duty. If you need to get somebody with really strong hands to help you. Okay, here's a little alcohol swab, and let's just see if we can get this this uh, Sharpie off of here and see what alcohol does to this, because I don't know what it does to this. I don't think it does much, because I think this is a pretty impervious material. Yeah, so if you want to get that extra Sharpie ink off of there, if you use the Sharpie, you can take an alcohol swab, rubbing alcohol, and just uh, get it right off of there. All right, we'll get rid of these scraps here. We'll save them though, because we can use them in other projects when we melt them down. Okay, look at that. Looks like some kind of crazy masquerade mask or something. How about that? So, with uh, this one, with the throttle down, let's put this on here and see how it, see how it works. And ooh wee! That actually, that's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that's that's totally functional. We have total gimbal protection right here. Um, the sticks are not really going to move around. They're they're you know protected. The switches here are protected. The knobs uh, you could still move the knobs, but the knobs are like pretty much protected. So now what's great is if you take your transmitter and it falls over, you're not going to damage the gimbals. But don't do that. I don't recommend actually 
you know, doing that. I just did that for demonstration, but I kind of wish I didn't now. But, but basically you have much better protection. Now you can take your transmitter and you can toss it in a bag and it's like no problem. So let's compare it to the one that I made before. <laughs> this one looks a lot nicer than this one. This one looks like uh, a very scary Halloween version of this one but you know what the function is the same um and you know it's a it's a quick cheap easy just down and dirty method uh of of getting an effective gimbal cover you know protective cover for your radio and if you have some instamorph it works really well Again, it's not pretty, but it's very effective. If you like these DIY videos, take a look at this video right over here. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this helped you. And uh, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon.